This is D, and Less Stress for Life. That's what's up. I'm here with Greg, and Greg is a runner, cyclist, um, electrician, and father yeah. of twins. I mean, just all around man's man. What got you into running, Greg? Not being able to find people around in my area where I lived at the time that was into playing soccer. And um, because of that lack of, um, I guess, soccer players, mm -hmm. I decided to do something on my own and running showed up. Gotcha. Later on, cycling came in. Mm -hmm. yeah. The benefits of running, what have they been for you? Overall, in a nutshell, Good health, focus, um, lower medical okay. expenses. Okay. Yeah. Lower medical expenses? Yeah, no medical expenses. No medical expenses. No high blood pressure no. medication, no diabetic medication, no dialysis treatment, mm. very minimal to, to nil uh, mm. medical expense. So I mean, so here you are. You you're 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 past the half century mark. Yes. A lot of people your age are dealing with diabetes, dealing with obesity, dealing with um, heart disease. You're trying to tell me that the energy that you put forth into running, into cycling, has paid off. Definitely, it has. Okay. And uh, I think that. Um, I don't know if it's if it's stereotype or if it's lack of awareness, but for whatever reason in the black community, mm. endurance sports, be it running or cycling, is not something that is encouraged or mm. promoted. Mm. Um, yes, in high school you have the sprinters, college you have the sprinters, but you never really see the endurance athletes get mm -hmm. the exposure. Okay. So therefore, growing up you find a lot of black kids who want to sprint mm -hmm. and get it over with. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I mean, I hope you're not saying that because Usain Bolt is not from Trinidad. No, 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 no. Oh, no. okay, okay, all right. Then. No, all right then. because be before you said boat, there was a guy named Hazley Crawford from Trinidad. <laughs> oh, okay. <So. laughs> all right, then, all right. Yeah. But, but most, cer most certainly, um, endurance sports carry a lot of weight. Um, endurance sports go a long ways for heart health. What would you say as far as the mental component? Because in this day and age, I'm pretty sure you can agree that we have a lot of weak-minded individuals um, who just can't sustain themselves. Right, because um, when you're an endurance athlete, it's, it, it, it develops and grows something within you to keep going, regardless of, of how difficult the climb up that hill may be. Mm. You might be at, you, you, you may be at mile 23 or 24 in a marathon, but in order to finish and to complete it, you have to do the full 26.2. So it develops a certain level of endurance that no matter how difficult things become, you have to keep going to cross the finish line. And I parallel that with life because it's easy for us to look around and see and find individuals just appear to have given up mm. because they never developed that endurance level stick or what we the, the stick to itness or that mental toughness that no matter what come what may I'm going to cross the finish line. Wow, that's powerful. That's very powerful. What is it when you're on that when you're on that um, road bike mm -hmm. what is it when you're when it's like your feet hitting the pavement that has kept you going at some of your hardest points um, believe it or not a lot of times when I'm out there a lot of the music that I listen to uh, encouraging inspiring music 
So, so not about shooting somebody or no, sexing no, no, somebody no. up. No, okay. okay it, right. And um, there are songs that come to mind that encourages me to keep going. You know, it it it, it might give me a little boost, but it's th- these are the things that help. Mm. You know, mm. and I parallel it uh, um, with my spiritual side. And if mm-hmm. again, if we parallel that with life, because you might have children that might give you some headaches, you may have <laughs> a spouse that can give you, or you may have some co-workers, mm-hmm. but the whole idea is to not give up. Mm. What is the toughest, um, what did you call the cycling thing? Um, century. What is the toughest one that you've been on? Well, I've done one century. Okay. But I've also and ex- explained to folk what a century. Well, is. a century, a century in the cycling world is a hundred miles on the bicycle. <laughs> now it's not a hundred miles nonstop because mm-hmm. they do have um, stations mm-hmm. along the course. But you ain't talking about a mile a day either. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's a hundred miles that day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. Uh, so I've done one of those because it takes time. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Mm-hmm. I remember that that century like it was yesterday because mm-hmm. it was close to the end. I was climbing a hill, and all of my muscles just locked up. Ooh. It just locked up. I mm-hmm. all, mm-hmm. I unclipped my shoes and stood there, and I could not move. Uh, a fellow cyclist. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Give me a, a drink of Gatorade, Mm-mm. and I was able to get back on the bike mm. and complete the century. Hold on, real quick. That sounds like there may be a camaraderie there as well. There is because when we, whenever I've done the uh, Army Ten Miler, mm. and you see those soldiers, the amputees. Mm. Whenever we come up against them, we always mm. always encourage them. Mm. Mm. So it's not like I'm out there looking out for myself. Mm. It's all about encouraging one another and on this, in this race. But mm. it's the same thing we ought to do in life. Encourage mm. one another along the road of life. Um, I, I do want to ask you to give some young brother, some young sister, some word of encouragement to like give him or her a kickstart into getting in this thing. There's a website called NBMA, which is National Black Marathoners Association. If you would go to their website, you would find lots of encouragement, lots of inspiration. Mm. Don't look at the cost of a pair of sneakers. Mm. Look at the overall health Mm. that it brings you. Much appreciated. You're looking kind of sexy in that pink. <laughs> Keep up the yeah, good this, work. This, this pink shirt is from my latest um, half marathon, which was last Sunday in Alexandria, Virginia. Outstanding. I did 10 minutes better than last year. Wow. For my age, I'm one year older, 10 minutes faster. Whoa, whoa. So, outstanding, outstanding. Yeah. Hard work pays off. Wow. In life. In life. Outstanding. Well, hey, guys, like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, go to www.destressmethod.com for more resource information. That's all we got for now. This is D and Less Stressful Life. That's what's up. Peace.